Hello everybody, welcome back to Order of Battle Creeks Marine. I'm Paradox Gamer playing. And we're about to start on the next mission called Surface Raiders. Eastern Atlantic, May 421. Following the success of German U boats against Allied convoys, the OKM has ordered surface vessels to break into the Atlantic and reinforce the blockade of the British Isles. Let's click that. See what we got. <clears throat> there we go. Mission briefing. Although our U boats are proving their effectiveness, most naval officers still regard surface warships as the ultimate commerce raiders. OKM has therefore determined that several squadrons should break into the Atlantic from their bases in Norway. They are scheduled to arrive at the eastern edges of the Atlantic in three separate groups. The exact deployment of each squadron, as well as the routes they may take into the ocean, remain to be decided. The main objective is to find and destroy enemy convoys heading from and to the British Isles. There is no doubt, however, that we will also run into adversaries from the Royal Navy. Should armed confrontation become unavoidable, this must be taken as an opportunity to further weaken the British fleet and to prove the superior quality and performance of the Kriegsmarine once more. Right, so primary objectives, move four warships into the Atlantic. At least four battleships, cruisers or destroyers must break out into the open ocean. We have to exit here. Also sink two British battleships. And then it says three here. <laughs> so it's probably three British battleships. And secondary objectives, sink an aircraft carrier. For taking part in another important victory against the British, a new naval commander will be promoted. Okay. And inflict 10 damage with naval AA guns. A reduction of British strength over these waters will allow us to deploy more of our own aircraft. And finally sink 4 merchant ships, plus 2 specialization points. Alright. So let's see, where are the deployment areas? There is one up here. There's one there. And one down here. Uh, here we have Scotland and Scapa Flow. We have a um, an airfield in Norway. Orkney, Shetlands, the Faroe Islands, this is Iceland, and Greenland over here. So Route A, Route B, and Route C. And we have to get out over here. Okay. So, Route C, the one that's closest to Scotland, would have the benefit of my um, my bombers being able to help out from uh, Norway, but I only have four air command points. That means basically my Arado and one squadron of Heinkels can assist. So that's not a lot. And we have several coastal guns, three coastal guns, probably protected by AA guns as well. So taking this route means we have to go close to Scotland and be in range of three coastal guns and the enemy torpedo aircraft will be very close to us. The upside is the path will be, will be shorter and we'll have uh, uh, air help air cover, at least in the beginning. Route B is further out, next to east of Iceland. 
taking the route down east of Iceland here will be uh, further away from Scotland. We'll have limited protection from the bombers and a medium distance to the exit area. While as the uh, Alpha route up here is supposed to go through the Strait of Denmark between Iceland and Greenland very far away from Scotland and the enemy aircraft and also the um, longest distance to the exit area but this is one is probably the safest path if you go uh, route C I think we can expect to lose a lot of ships so I'm gonna go with the safe one that means I'm gonna place everyone up here and I'm gonna skip aircraft altogether except for the Arado of course uh, so looking at the um, forces we have the Schleswig-Holstein battleship and then we have two cruisers two support ships, three destroyers and two submarines currently in the mix. I think we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this Deutschland uh, class battleship. This is a remnant from World War One. So let's see we can try and see here. So we got a Scharnhorst class and a Bismarck class. Pretty expensive If we're gonna upgrade, might as well go for the Bismarck for the extra 50 points. Let's see how much better is it. Hmm. As far as I can see, the Bismarck is only one point better against uh, small vessels. It goes from 22 to 23. And also one point better for larger vessels going from 24 to 25. The Scharnhaus though is quicker. It can actually go 4. Hmm. Also, the Scharnhorst has torpedoes. Hmm. That could come in handy. Okay, let's try the Scharnhorst. Place it here. And that leaves us with five points for the first wave here. And I think I'm gonna go with a cruiser. Do we wanna upgrade one of these? What would that cost? 100 points for a Deutschland class, and 117 for an Admiral Hipper class. See what I get here. Uh, it's considerably better against larger vessels, 24, and against smaller vessels, the Hipper is slightly better than Deutschland. I don't know if I have the points for it though. That's a lot of points. I'm gonna try. There we go. This is my first wave, and we have a Arado there. I can even buy another one of those because I'm not going to deploy my uh, bomber. That will cost just 20. Let's do that. We got two of those, and I think that's uh, that's it for now. So let's uh, 
let's bring them uh, bring them on. Turn one. Let's see what we got over here. There's one ship there. There's an aircraft over there. And another ship down here. Now this place here is mined. There could be more mines than this as well. Let's try and move over here. Yep, no problem. And the battleship over here. Just discovered another mine there. And we're out of reach of the enemy ships. So Allied turn one it is. Oh, here they come. Looks like a World War One cruiser type. Let's take a look at it. And this is just a um, scout plane as well. Same as mine. Let's see what we got here. The HMS Suffolk. It's a CA County. I think that's some kind of World War One remnant. Take it out. Um, there might still be more mines. But let's start with this one. Let's move around this way. Well, didn't bump into any mines. I probably will here. Nope. Okay, we're clear. Let's go with primary guns to deal. Uh, let's. That's a sure point though. One damage to the Suffolk. This one's probably not going to do any damage. No. Well, let's see what we have down here. We have another one of those Suffolk and Norfolk. Alright. Let's come further down. This is a Fairy Sea Fox. Scout plane as well. Let's move further down. Nothing there. Alright, let's see what these cruisers can do to us. I might turn in two. Should be just in reach. But The other one's getting closer. Probably hit my cruiser. No, it also goes for the battleship. And no damage either. That's a good start. Let me just see what that um, torpedo launcher can do. Zero damage. Probably. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know really. But we'll just move around it. Like this. Now this one does have torpedoes, and that's a sure damage, but it looks, it looks like the guns are better. Got two damage. That takes the first one down to six, the other one is still at full strength. Now let's see if we can find. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So it's just those two against mine two. Now I'm turn three. I can expect some damage this turn. Here comes the uh, Norfolk. One damage. And the other one. No damage. So I think we'll continue to move south and deal some more damage to the Suffolk. We can use the primaries again for two damage. And hopefully another two damage from this one. 
No, just one. That takes it down to three. And the Norfolk still at full strength. Let's see what else we can find down here. So far, nothing. And also nothing down here, so we're quite alone up here. Do not expect the Suffolk to do any more damage to me. Let's find out. It's getting up and close. Damage. And the Norfolk is coming down as well. We'll probably do some damage. been pretty um, pretty easy so far. Second squadron. Additional warships have left their bases in Norway and can now be deployed on the voyage into the Atlantic. So it focuses on Route B, but I wonder if we can put them up here. I'd rather have them there. 13 command points. So we'll have the cruiser. ship and some destroyers let's just get them at full strength yeah so we'll get all the destroyers ready on cruise of three destroyers and a support ship we still have one support ship and the two submarines in the back hopefully we can get those out later on. Now I'm inclined to keep moving south because these guys are gonna pass anyway. How much damage will I do if I just move out like this? Possibly nothing. one can come down and do another damage as well. And the Suffolk will be done next turn. Let's keep looking. There's something down here. That's near the exit, though. Now I turn five. Something is coming up this way. Comes the Norfolk. Will it do some damage this time? Yes. Suffolk probably won't do any damage. I'll be disappointed if it does. Okay, let's get these guys going. Full speed ahead. And we got the primary guns again. Why don't I fire on the other one with the prime one, two, three? I can go down here. Use the primaries and do and finish off the Suffolk. Now let's see what we got down here. Well, there we go. Two merchant ships incoming. This. These are destroyers. What have they got down here? Four destroyers are gathered here. Now let's just take the Allied turn six as well. There's also a destroyer there.
comes to Suffolk or the Norfolk, I forgot which one it is, but it does no damage. So we have three merchant ships and one destroyer. Coming in from the west, south of Greenland. These destroyers looks like they're just patrolling around. The exit position, yeah they are. Alright, guys, let's put a break in here and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.